We live in a world that demands constant productivity, efficiency, and it seems like taking time to have a slow morning routine can feel like a luxury. However, there's so many benefits to it. And because I work a nine to five and I get up at 5 a.m., I've been embracing having a slow morning routine on the weekends because it really does help you savor a silent morning. It helps you be more mindful, have time to reflect, nourish your body and soul, and set intentions and priorities. And surprisingly, it does enhance productivity and creativity. So here are some things that I do on my weekends now to really embrace having a slow morning routine. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Hi beauties, welcome back to another vlog. Now welcome to a 7 a.m. morning routine in my life. These are typically my weekend mornings. Um, today is a holiday, so it's kind of, I treat it like a weekend as well. And I take my time, I have a slower morning. I really just kind of listen to my body and sometimes I'll sleep in like today. Um, it's 7.45, I got up around like 6.30ish um, and I'm just taking it very easily and I feel like I had, I've, I've been having such good night sleep lately and I'm happy about that because with moving it's been hard for me to you know, get a good night's sleep because I'm in a new space. There's clutter because I'm still trying to organize my life. Like my closet is still a mess, but I've just been happy that I've been getting a good night's sleep and it's all thanks to my new pillows here. So I've been using these for a week now. These pillows are from Marlo. If you guys are Brooklinen fans, then you are going to love these pillows so much because they have the memory insert so you can adjust your firmness. I like a firm pillow. Like I like firm pillows. I like firm mattresses. I just sleep much better when I, I don't know what it is. I sleep better that way. And so these pillows, I've been having a great night's sleep because they stay in place. Most pillows that I've tried after a while they get flat but when i put my head down on here and i go to sleep it stays in place and it's just so comforting um and like i said you guys can adjust the firmness with these pillows these are very breathable as well and they're cool because i tend to sweat when i go to sleep so i like the fact that these are cooling um and it has the zipper here to expand the pillow Unzipping both sides of the pillow allows it to be softer and more plush and it allows more airflow to flow through the pillow. So if you want something more plush, you unzip both sides. But if you want something that's more firmer, then I would zip both sides. If you want something that's in between, you can unzip one side and then the other one flowing with some airflow. If you want um, as well, so on both sides, you can unzip those and expand. And when I say like, guys, these are the best pillows I've tried and I've tried several other ones, like even to the point where I'm thinking I might end up um, getting the king size version of these because they are just, they're literally my favorite pillow to sleep in. Like I have not found a pillow that I slept so well like this. Um, so from now into July 5th, Marlo is having their summer sale. So you can get two pillows for 20% off, or you can get two to three pillows for 20% off, or you can get four pillows for 30% off. Um, and if you use my link, that's going to be in the description, you get an additional 20% off as well. So I like highly recommend these guys. When I say I've been sleeping well, I've been sleeping so well. So, um, thank you Marlo for sponsoring this portion of the video but <laughs> the way these pillows are so comfortable i'm not gonna lie i want to go back to sleep i want to go back and lay down because they're just so comfortable um like i said today is kind of like my morning routine on the weekend so i'm really just taking it slow i'm gonna have a very very slow morning today 
One of the benefits of starting your day off with a slow morning routine is that it allows you to savor the silence. It really just allows you to let your body know when it's time to wake up. You're not being startled by an alarm clock in the morning. And I really enjoy that because sometimes you really just need to listen to your body, listen to when it's telling you you need to rest and when it's time to get up. One of the things that I really enjoy about having a slow morning routine, and especially in my new apartment, is that I have a really nice sunrise in the morning so gently letting my body wake up when the sun rises feels so natural and it feels great it really helps me have peace of mind and i embrace the tranquility before i, I allow the world <laughs> to start my day and intrude into my life so this is one of the benefits of having a slow morning routine and it's probably one of my favorites because i wake up 5 a.m. and I start work at 7 a.m. and so it's pretty much I'm on the go Monday through Friday so these weekends and these slow mornings just allow me to just listen to my body and know when it's time to start my day. Another way that I like to enjoy the silence and savor it in the morning is by reading when I wake up and that just allows me to enjoy peace and quiet while I dive into a book. Another way also is just if I need to tidy up from the weekend, like last night, I decided to cook dinner and go to bed and I didn't feel like cleaning. So the morning gives me time to savor the silence because I don't know about you, but for me, cleaning is very therapeutic. I like to do that either with some lo-fi beats or just in complete silence while I just let my mind clear and just be in the moment. Another benefit of having a slow morning is that it allows you to practice mindfulness and reflection. And I talked about this in a previous morning routine. It's a practice that I picked up from the 5 a.m. club. And I lately, what I've been doing is just sitting outside on the balcony, getting fresh air. And either that's with a journal, that's with a book, that's with some music, or in today, it's catching up with a friend while I drink some tea and just really enjoy being outside being outdoors enjoying the sun and the weather and i think that's great because instead of just jumping in and starting your day taking a few minutes to meditate or doing some breath uh deep breathing or sitting quietly just allowing your thoughts to settle those intentional pauses helps you start the day with a sense of calm clarity and positive tune for the day ahead and it really does make a difference for me because i am someone who can be an overthinker and i'm always just on the go and so i feel like these moments just allow me to have some clarity some peace of mind before i start my day Another benefit of a slow morning routine is that it allows you to set your intentions and priority. Because when you wake up in the morning and you're not being rushed, you get a chance to kind of sit down and set your priorities and goals for the day, whether that's writing in a journal, maybe that's just jotting down three things you want to accomplish in the day. Because you have the time to do that, it really does make a difference in your day. You're not rushing through anything because sometimes rushing in the morning it just leads to a reactive mindset where you feel like you're being controlled by things and you don't kind of have the control over them and we don't really want to be in a reactive state of mind it's more like being in survival mode and being in survival mode is just not it's not sustainable so you want to be as proactive as you can by setting your intentions and your priorities early on in the morning Another benefit of having a slow morning routine is that the extra time allows you to nourish your body and soul. 
and of course you want to make sure you want to eat healthy you want to have time to eat great meals because there's nothing worse than starting your morning with no breakfast and you have a pretty busy day already i like to eat breakfast in the morning i usually like to do an avocado toast and the other thing is that by having a slow morning routine you get to engage in activities that bring you joy whether that's reading a book or journaling or recording a video like this, which is very creative for me, something creative, of course, that's always going to nourish your body and soul. And another benefit of a slow morning routine is that it really does enhance productivity and creativity because you're starting off your day with a clear mindset. You are in control of your morning and you feel like you have more control of your day overall. So these are the benefits of having a slow morning routine and these are some of the things that i do in my routine now for the rest of this day i'm gonna be honest with you guys i watch tv and i slept because it is juneteenth after all and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one